as you can see, we're all here. Ben's back here home with us. He's not down at Fab Rats anymore because we needed him. It's like struggle up here without him. He knows more than all of us. He is stronger than all of us. And he has more air miles than all the rest of us. So we are so grateful for our time down at Fab Rats, but we're so happy to have him back here. Yeah, and it was a great time there, doing lots of stuff. And I love helping my brother, and I still will. But I need to be here helping these guys. So yeah, we're doing our own thing now. We're doing it all together. We're all <laughs> causing mischief, no matter if it's building a house, working on cars, four-wheelers, playing with dogs. We just do whatever. So you'll have to check out our channel, uh, b and Garage, and uh, see what we're up to. Yeah, see what we're doing. So we're going to go get, uh, I got an old trailer. I got to go get that because it's, it's the one we wrecked. What are we up to? I think we're gonna get this trailer off, put my fenders back on the other trailer. So, of course, we'll rig it up and then we'll show you. Uh, we worked so hard to get it on there. I know, but it's here. I gotta fix it. I think I can twist it back. I've almost got it twisted back. I gotta push this end down. I think it'll rotate it. I'll cut the tongue off, fenders, put some new axles in it. It won't be too bad to fix. Good. So, okay, we got the one bobcat here. We'll lift that in with it. She's bringing over the backhoe, and we'll uh, get her done. There's that one off the trailer and uh, we'll put my other one back together. All right, here we go. Another day, I actually finished side by side and I didn't film it because I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. But I got all the back seats in, put a new center console in it and made it an actual four seater. Once again, it's a four seater and it actually runs better now so I found some plugs that were bad I did the clutch on it air filter oil change did some maintenance on it it really needed it so now we're gonna go test burn it and make sure I did something right so here we go to remount that somewhere else. <laughs> I pulled my truck out of the weeds finally because I felt bad for it. The weeds were actually taller and were than the 
than the truck was. It was kind of sad. So, got the old girl out. The air ride still worked on it. She's rusted out. But it did start, so I'm going to go take her for a ride and see if she still runs good. Hey, there's Natty. She's coming for a ride, too. I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm here. Uh, good, we can all walk back together. <laughs> Is it going to kill us? Drug. What kind of date day was this? Hey, we got canning stuff. Yeah, more work. More work. That's what we needed to do. But it's good. So, and she runs good. So, just tired. She needs new gas. We need upgrade. More, more horsepower. Oh. <laughs> Sounds expensive. <laughs> Always is. So, yeah. I guess we'll get something else now. Here we go. I got. Okay, check this out. We got uh, that with a huge box. So we got 90% packing and 10% product. Sounds Is shocking. Kind of linkage we need? I'm hoping so. This might be the linkage we need. We're gonna make work. There's only one way to find out. Throw her in there and hope. Let's see it, let's do it. All right. And that right there is what's left of the old linkage. So we'll just see if this new stuff fits on there. And then we gotta get some more lines and she'll be running. Okay, I gotta finish my part time job as an Uber for my friends and take them home. <laughs> You're an Uber? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. And the I'll go get some line parts for okay. transmission. Nice. And, uh, it looks like the linkage will work though. Yeah, this is so, gonna work great. That's one exactly less part we same. have to worry about. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get back on it tomorrow. Right. Today, we're gonna be swapping out the old for the new and improved. So we got all our tools and battery. Finn's got me a battery. Thank you, Finn. Thank I trust the assistant. And then we got the fittings for the lines. Yep. And then she'll be running, right? Okay. And moving. Yes. Let's see if we can get them put in there. And this should go in here. Not sure how easy, but it should go in. It should. It should. It's already got a bushing in it. We might can just no, we're gonna have to take it out. We need a pick, so we'll yeah. get a pick and get that done. Alright. Um, so dad being a master builder, he took out a pick. <laughs> oh and we, just what are you yeah, talking about? I took out that pin. No, you didn't. You did? Yeah, oh, I did. I took out the rubber though. Yeah. You see? You yeah. see, I did half the work. No, so no. I'm half the master. It's true. Ochre dad's you better. You got a point. <laughs> oh, wow. You're half something. Because <laughs> <laughs> that goes on one side of the bushing. This goes on the other side. Do you need a step stool, Ochre? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I see how they have a set. Grab that out. Now it has this bigger washer so it doesn't pull through the plastic. Oh, okay. So put that on like that. On there. And then this one goes on this side of this bushing. And, and then one on the other. And then tightens it up. Man, you're so smart. Let's see if I can get this without. Yeah, do the puzzle without dropping them. Should have probably grabbed a, a wrench. wrench. For that. Yeah. And All right, down under here. Dad is going to be a wizard. I'm going to have to put a muffler on this thing. Oh, yeah, it's straight pipe. Well, no, it's just got this section they cut out for the transmission that they pulled off. Oh, yeah. See how it's missing? Isn't it in the back? It is. We're going to weld it back in. Nice. 
Um, we've got an aftermarket shifter linkage, so we're gonna have to take this piece and punch it out and flip it around so it goes the other way because the bolt goes in here and tightens up. But we can't have it the way it is because it hits the transmission. Huh. I guess it works for hot rods and stuff like that, but not for this. Not well, well, this is a hot rod, but in a different way. <laughs> so we're gonna go knock this piece out. And then we'll uh, put it back in and uh, we'll see if we can tighten it up. Okay, we got her flipped around, exactly opposite. So we'll put it in and uh, then we'll bend her rod. So let's get it done. You, what you doing over there, sleeping? Yep. <laughs> there we go. Then we can put the bolt through it. Like so, it locks in there. You just tighten it right up. It goes onto the pivot. And the pivot goes And into then the arm. that goes into the arm and we'll bend it to get the right uh, well, angle on it. Cut it. Um, we might have to cut it a little bit, yeah, it looks like. And then we'll get the right angle and be done. So let's get her bent. Alright, we're gonna take bend it. We're gonna guesstimate. It's a real word. That's what they use in school. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's You've not been good. guesstimating at school? Yeah. How's yeah. your grades doing? <laughs> hey, I got all A's. I got all, all right, A's. I'm just wondering. Grant, how, we're only three weeks into it. But like, I'm just wondering how the guesstimation process is going. It's been all right. My neighbor seems to be getting them right. Oh! <laughs> Note to neighbors, watch out for ochre. Going to be in the so Dad's bending it so it looks right. Man, Dad just comes out with those forearm strength. Like, look at the size of his forearms. That is really close to what we need. Okay, so you just got to cut off the tail a little bit, right? Put it in. Yeah. I think we got to figure it out. Got a little bend here. It's not too bad. Here's the grinder. And then we'll, uh, so we'll take everything back off and, and then we'll put it in so it works. Oh man, I missed a call from my favorite sister. <laughs> Natty? Yeah. Oh no. Natty the editor. Well, we gotta make sure Natty's happy. AKA our favorite and only sister. I hope she's a favorite. Okay, we're in Natty's bedroom. This is a secret place. No one ever sees this. But we are trying to revamp because she is working her little tail off for our family doing all the editing. So the other day we put together that beautiful chair. But the chair is comfortable and my desk is coming and we just got this mirror. So we're going to put it together. So you'll never believe it, Natty and I actually read the instructions or at least looked at the pictures. Well, we got it done. We did, but we're missing one bolt. They yeah. shorted us. They shorted one, us one bolt right, right there. there. Right there. So I, I know where Natty and I can find one. So we'll get that and get it taken care of. I mean, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It shows the paint and the caulk yes. so well. Sweet. Hey, guess what? What? Too short? <laughs> Maybe. Don't laugh like that. You make me nervous. It is. Don't even play. Okay. We have to pull this apart and clock it just a little bit more because it's got splines on it. So we'll do that. Hey, check this out. Let's see that camera. We got some linkage. That linkage going up. That works. Everything functions how it should, so we'll just tighten up the jam nuts on it. And uh, what's next? Oh, tranny fittings. We're gonna hook the tranny lines together. Somebody just cut them off, so we'll get those hooked together. We'll just show you when it's done. It'll be easier.
All right, let's do that. We went and put the tranny line on. Come let's to find out. See this little coupler piece? It only has one. So, so it's supposed need, to have two. And you need two to tango, so. So we're gonna have to go grab another one real quick and uh, then we'll get her fixed. Then we can get that done, so. All right, let's, let's do it. it apart. Transmission lines are in. We went and got a part. So we got that finished. We just need torque converter bolts because we didn't find any. So Oker's looking for those right now. And if we find those, it could. Oh, and dry. I'm going to grab the transmission pan gasket. We're going to zip that off real quick and change it. And then we can put fluid in it and start it. Then it might dry. Then it might move. Nice. So let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right. We got this transmission pan off. Look at this. So. Yeah, there's like, it's not that nice. There's shiny chunks of death in it. So this might not work. That's sad. So maybe I'll just clean this and put another filter on it and we'll see what we don't have. But I'll bet we need a transmission. So I have to pull this one apart and rebuild it. Dang it. But we'll get after it. Looks like you've been working. Yeah, I think our transmission's bad. But we're going to put some fluid in it. See if it has any gears. I don't think it's going to have any. Okay, now, Oker took over my job. And he is now running and getting parts. And he's out getting transmission fluid. While me and dad work on a couple things. So, yeah. Transmission fluid. Look at that nice red color. Yeah. I mean, you probably can't see on camera, but it's nice in person. Yeah. Is that better view? Oh, yeah, you can see it. The blood of the transmission. Is it leaking out on the bottom as fast as it's going in? <laughs> no, it's not leaking. I mean, there you go. Don't see anything on the wood, there so. There we go. Nothing on the wood? Yeah. That's good. That's a good thing. All right, start it up. <laughs> Make sense. Give us some starting fluid. All right, Crank it. Start her up. Did you shut it off? No. Are you trying to rev it up or at all? No, I just put on the gas a little. Okay, give it throttle. Start it up. Yeah. It did move. Started to move. But then it okay. turned off. We have one problem we gotta fix. There's no throttle linkage hooked up. Nope, nothing. Huh. So put it in park. It's in park. Not good. I don't know why it's unbolted, but she's unbolted. So let me take a second. I'll bolt that back up. We'll get back at it. All right, let's do it. So we're going to test the forward gears. All right, you ready? It moved. We gotta hook the throttle linkage up, and then we'll uh, drive it. We'll go see if it actually moves good. All right, we're back at it today. I got uh, some throttle linkage found. Hooked it up right there. Let's see if uh, let's see if it helped anything. 
We have an awesome key switch. This thing is a beaut. Let's see. Ooh. Might start. Okay, Oka showed up finally. He had to do that school thing. Weird. Yeah, gets Weird. in the way. Totally. Right. It's all right. We got the spring on the throttle, so it might kick back. So mm -hmm. let's start it and see if it Works. stays running. Maybe we'll go for a ride. Yeah, maybe. There you go. So we've got to do some work. Yeah. We got to put the column in it. There was a bushing in the transmission. It's bad. It's got all the gears, but it sounds horrible. It does not sound good. But it moves, and it doesn't sound like it's running on all the cylinders. No. Maybe spark plugs. Maybe we should check those. Yeah, we haven't checked any of that. We can hold their sunglasses up, so that's all that matters. I'm gonna need to get myself a rear view mirror as well. Oh yeah, there's not even uh, that's it's fell off the window. Mm -hmm. And I gotta clean out that bag. So we gotta do some cleaning on it, and then uh, 
LB1. But it runs. It does run, <laughs> surprisingly. The nice thing about a boy in a truck is that it's always a boy in a truck. No matter how old you get, there's something to be done. It's true, boy in a truck. 